were you aware of anyone other than Edna Marie from an assisting position, assistant position, who was brought in to IA for the purpose of assisting with the document destruction? I, I, I knew now, but then, no, I had no idea. Okay, so now I, I'm assuming you know that uh, Chris Dahmer is, uh, has indicated he was, he, he assisted. Yeah, I heard he, heard he was, I, I mean, I heard he was assistant. I didn't even know he was down there. Okay. And you know Chris, though. Uh, yeah, I hired him. Right. And uh, he's no longer with the department. No, he's no longer with the department. Right. And he resigned, I think he moved out of South Florida. I'm not too sure. I mean, he, went, he went somewhere. I think he went to another department. All right. Well, but he left in good standing with the city. Yeah, he left in good standing. Um, okay. First of all, and, other um, than perhaps in back preparation in for today's deposition or this case, uh, had you seen these documents before? I did. Okay. And is that your signature on each of the first seven pages of the records disposition document? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. And you'll see. Um, a signature below that, uh, do you recognize that to be Marie Kent's signature? I'm assuming it is. It looks like the signature. Okay. And you'll see to the right uh, a signature and underneath printed Edna Marie Hernandez, I admin, I A admin. Yes. Okay. Now, um, and uh, next to each one, there's a date. Uh, next to your signature, is that your handwriting? Did you handwrite the date? Yes. Okay. How, how were you provided these documents to sign? Uh, I remember, I got a lot of documents to sign, but I remember Edna Marie coming to my office one day and she had these documents and she said that uh, I had to sign these. And I said, okay. She said, uh, I guess something about we did the destruction or something. I don't know what she said, but anyway, she said, sign this and, and, and put this data here. And I looked at it and I said, oh, okay. And I signed it and put that date. And that's, that's how I did it. Okay. Uh, and you, you say you signed it and she told you to put that date. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming, based on what you've just said, but let's clarify the date you were being asked to put on the document was not the date you were actually signing the document. You were no, signing no. it at some later date. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, from what I understand from all the sort of collective testimony I've, I, I've heard, that would have been sometime in October of 2011. Is that I correct? I don't even know what time, what date it was. I really don't know. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask it this way. Mm -hmm. Uh, fair to say it wasn't like just a few, sometime in May, just a few days later. It was, uh, to your recollection, it was some number of months later, correct? It could have been. I know, I, I don't think it was that was, was then. I'm not too sure, but I don't think it was that. Okay. Um, did you question Edna Marie as to why she was asking you to put that date, May 17, 2011, on the document? No, I didn't question it at all. Um, from your, to your knowledge, is there anything uh, improper about backdating a document of this nature? Form. Well, in all honesty, uh, looking at this now, you know, <clears throat> when I saw 517 on here that the destruction was done, and Marie being the captain of, and she signed that date, and she asked me to sign that date. I assumed that that was the date that it was done. And that was the date I had to sign it. You know, I was that was my my ignorance on, on that behalf because I thought that I had to sign the date that destruction was done, not the date that she gave it to me. So that was that was just me ignorant on my part, and I should have I should have known better than that, and I didn't, and I sign a date that she told me to sign, not not thinking that she would give me, have me sign the wrong date. So that was, that was my fault. Okay. So when you were shown the document by Edna Marie, was, did you already see uh, Edna Marie's signature and the date to the right? Was that already on there? I think it was. 
I think I, I think I saw both both. Uh, I think I saw both both of them sign. So you saw Marie's yeah. signature for five seventeen eleven, right? And you saw Edna Marie's signature mm -hmm. for five seventeen eleven. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. And, and if I understand what you just told me correctly, what you're saying to me, Chief Roll, is that you, you're handed this document, you're seeing both of those signatures with those dates on there, mm -hmm. you're being told by Edna Marie to date it that date, yeah. mm -hmm. and your assumption based upon all of those things was that this must have been the date that the documents were destroyed and it was okay on your part to to date it that same that date. Was, that's exactly my thoughts. Okay. When I mentioned that I had signed that date, again, I'm thinking that because you don't think that the secretary will come in and tell you to sign the wrong date. They, they can know what she's doing because I don't have people that come to me, you know, with, I guess, bogus information. Mm -hmm. And when she came to me, I was busy. I knew I was busy. And uh, she came to me and said, hey, Chief Roll, you know, these, these are done and you have to sign these. And you got to sign that date. I looked at it and I saw Marie and I saw her signature. and I went like, okay, I signed all of them, gave them back to her. Just like that. You were, I believe, present when, during the uh, Deegan arbitration? I was present. All right. And you heard Edna Marie testify? I did. And so you're aware that Edna Marie has testified that when she uh, presented these documents to you, she at the same time told you that there were documents reflected there that had not in fact been destroyed. That was her testimony. Yeah, you she, remember? Yeah, she lied. You recall that testimony? I recall. Yeah, she lied. Well, right. you say she lied. Mm -hmm. You mean she lied about telling you that? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she didn't tell me that. Okay. No. I remember that. She didn't tell me anything, but just, you got to sign that date. Okay. That's all she said to me. And <clears throat> she also said, you know, words to the effect, her testimony was that she expressed concern about um, having told various parties on public records requests that uh, documents had been destroyed when, in fact, they had not. That's what she uh, testified mm -hmm. that she told you. Mm -hmm. I heard it. I know. And so your response to that is that she did not say that to no, you? No, she did not tell me that. Okay. No. Um, you said to me that at the time your, your thought process was that it was okay, basically, to date it the same date as the date you thought the documents had actually been destroyed, right? Yes. Uh, that suggests to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, at some later point in time, you learned you shouldn't have done that. Well, for sure. I mean, you know, if I, you know, I, 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 if I would have known the form, which was, again, my knowledge, of, well, not knowledge about this form, and I knew I had to sign it a date that I, that it was, it wasn't done, I don't sound like I signed anything else. Stuff comes to me all the time that's prepared properly mm -hmm. and it's told to, to do certain things properly, not improperly like, like she did. That was, again, that was, that was my error because I guess I trusted her. So, I mean, that's what I do and that's, that's what you get. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. So, I guess if you were to from what you're telling me, if you knew then what you knew now, so to speak, and she presented these documents to you, you would have dated it whatever the date was that you were actually uh, being presented with the uh, document. A hundred percent. Okay. Um, you ever heard of saying live and learn? I hear it a lot. I got it. That's what I got. <laughs> you live and learn. Yeah. I know you've indicated to me that you don't recall the uh, exact date that Edna Marie presented this document to you. I don't. Um, and I know that you dispute what was said. I get that. Oh, but sure. but 
She also testified that the date she asked you to, the date she brought these documents to you was in October uh, of 2011, 2012. Sorry, 2012. Oh, well, she, she could have been true on, on that. I, I don't know what date it was. I just know that uh, she told me to sign that date. It could have been later on. It could have been earlier. My mistake. Okay. So my question, and let's try a different frame of reference. Okay. Um, at the date, whatever the date was, at the date when she gave you these documents to sign, to your recollection, was Maria Kent... Uh, still a lieutenant or had you already promoted her to captain? I don't believe it. I think she was a lieutenant. I don't think now, she was a captain. Okay, so to your recollection... Is it your understanding that it is unlawful to backdate a document such as this record? Uh, uh, at the time, I, at the time I, did, I, you know, I, didn't, I didn't realize it. I didn't know it. And that's, that's, my, that's my, my fault. But you know that now? I, well, I know it now. Okay. I certainly don't want to invade attorney-client privilege, so just to be careful, and I'll warn you, if, if your knowledge is coming from that, then uh, just be careful not to oh, talk no, about no, a communication, no. obviously. Um, have you been um, questioned at all by FDLE or the state attorney's office regarding these logs? Three days after nope. To your knowledge, what motive or reason would Edna Marie Hernandez have to take her own screenshot to show that she had created a fake log three days after the public records request? Form speculation. I don't know why she did it. I, I got my own, my own reasoning, but I, I don't know why she did it. Well, what's your reasoning? I think she screwed up. Screwed up how? Doing the destructions. I think Meaning she, what? I'm not sure. I, I think she. You. I think she mean well by trying to go in and sh shred the files and everything and try to clean the office up. Mm -hmm. I think she just didn't know what she was doing and made a mistake. And but I'm. I'm sorry. I, what in your mind? What's the mistake that she made? Uh, made a mistake. Probably shred, shredding, shredding this stuff. You mean that she shouldn't have shredded? I think that she she should have shredded it because she wanted to clean it up. But I think she should have did it the right way. And I think she made a mistake and didn't do it the right way. Okay. So. So, assuming that proves to be true, mm -hmm. well, for the sake of argument, right. so what you're saying is she, after getting the public records request, realized that she hadn't done it accurately, the, mm -hmm. the destruction? Yeah, that's, that's, and, just, that's just my opinion. I got you. Mm -hmm. And so, in order to make, make herself look like she had done it right, mm -hmm. she created a, a fake log I, after the fact. Just, just my belief. Okay. And, and I, I understand your belief. My question to you is, assuming that belief, why would she at the same time take photographic evidence that she did that? I, I have no idea. Would I, you agree with me, just, I mean, you're a police officer for years, would you agree with me that's inconsistent with someone who is trying to get away with making up a log a year after the fact, taking a picture, proving that she did that. Forms. You follow me? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know why she did what she did, but yeah, you know, I have no idea. Okay. I just wish. I know. Was. I know you've you've done investigations. I sure have. Um, her allegation is that she was asked to do this, and she followed her her director's command, um, but took a picture of it to show that. Would you agree with me that the fact? of taking the picture and what the picture shows would tend to lend more credibility to her allegation than to Marie Kent's denial? Form? I, I don't, I really don't know. I don't want to say, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on that. Okay. I just know she should have came to me. All right, let's take a few minute break. Okay. okay we're going off the record. Oh.